Hello, Xavier. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. You? I'm doing great. So how about those alouettes? Oh, again? <laughs> You always start with a sports question. It's very funny, actually, because I was asking Why people... You make me uncomfortable look like I'm an ignorant or something. It was very funny. <laughs> because it is a bird, right? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. It's exactly. How about those birds? Oh, wow. They're great. They're very gracious and, uh, and victorious every once in a while. <laughs> You know, it's very funny because I asked on Facebook, what should I, I'm interviewing Xavier Dolan, what should I ask him? And Philip fowler Doe, who had obviously watched that other interview, that was his question. He's, have you seen this hilarious video of him at a, at a match who's like, he's yelling like this and he's giving hell to the team. He's like, what the fuck did you do, you idiot? And, oh, really? I haven't. Yeah, yeah, and it was not the internet and, 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 and the, the, the sports channel didn't know who he was. It was like an angry fan. <laughs> oh, really? That's yeah. hilarious. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's, it's hysterical. I mean, he's the, really losing it. The funny thing with Philippe is he's actually a huge football fan. He is. He is. <laughs> Anyways, we're not just going to talk football. Are I mean, we going to talk about Philippe and uh, football for, for... I thought we'll talk about I other... Don't mind. I don't mind, but I'm not prepared for that. But I have many things to say about Philippe. I love him. I love we'll, his films. We'll, we'll talk about other great Quebecois filmmakers. How about that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, actually. How do you feel? We're here the, 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 the day of the premiere in your hometown of Mami, which is, it's been to Cannes and has got great acclaim. How do you feel leading up to showing it in your hometown for friends and family? Well, you know, it's just honestly, and I'm not taking away anything from the, you know, the prestige of this premiere, but it sure is a little more, you know, um, a little less stressful than all the others. So I'm glad we're starting the whole, you know, chain of premieres all around the world and the province. I'm, I'm glad we're starting here in Montreal. You know, that's 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 where I was brought up, and well, not brought up, but that's where I live now. And um, so it's always great, to, you know, bring her home to mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Pun intended. Hmm. It is. How, how, are, how have things changed for you since Mommy came out? I mean, you could never know what the reaction was, and it was an incredible reaction in Cannes. All, virtually all of the reviews I've seen are ecstatic, and there's been a... Re how, how has that changed how you look at what you're doing as a filmmaker? Well, I mean, obviously you feel there's a huge amount of friendship and love out there, and acknowledgement from the peers and, 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 and the, you know, you, I do want to please, you know, critics and cinephiles and people around the, so it's just, it's obviously more than I was hoping for, so it's, it's, this is all very positive, this is, I mean, very inspiring and gives me a lot of energy to face this whole army of journalists I'm going to talk to and, and all the press I'm going to do and, and it, you know, I just hope that, um, that the people now will you know, go see it. it. You know, if you look on paper at the two films, like describe the two films, Je Tui Ma Mère and Mummy, mm -hmm. you could think they're very similar, but, in, but they really not. aren't. How, uh, how, talk about how different it is. Well, first, I mean, there is such a difference in terms of social strata, and, and I mean, we're not at all telling the same, you know, the, the story doesn't have the same background, the characters don't have the same uh, lives, don't have the same um, conflicts, you know, it's just, Mommy is, really is some sort of teenage, uh, you know, it's a coming of age thing, you know, it's a teenage crisis, and Mommy is an existential crisis. So there's just, just in terms of seriousness, although, mo although Mommy is very light by moments, it's filled with hope and humor, it's just, it's another sort of, of genre, you know, it's a real drama and, and, and the, the stakes are, are not the same, you know, than, that of, than those of, of I Killed My Mother, obviously. Killed My Mother is very uh, uh, anecdotal, uh, anecdo Ane anecdotal, a anecdotal. <laughs> That's a tough one. <laughs> a a anecdotal. But you, ane say, it fi say it five times quickly. <laughs> an anecdotal, 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 anecdotal. That's, pre that's pretty good. Anecdotal. Anyway, so that's what it is. And mommy is uh, more of a, you know, well, like I said, existential problem. <laughs> only choosing tough words. <laughs> Problematic. Get as many syllables in those words as possible. <laughs> Please, just make it as hard as possible so people really don't understand and, and they don't know what language you're speaking and, every, and, and you know, everything would be perfect. 
T talk also about working with on Anne Dorval, who who's plays the mother in both films, and you've you've got. I mean, did you write it with her in mind? And sure, I did write it with her in mind, and obviously with in mind that I would want her to be as different as, you know, could be from her character in. And, and I killed my mother because that's the you know it's not only a challenge for her it's a challenge for me you know bringing her somewhere else and 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 she was obviously and you know challenged and inspired by the fact that these two women were completely different and that's what we wanted to hear from the people you know not like is that the character from I killed my mother like no it's not the character from I mean it's like I said their their battles are just so you know. They were so different. They don't. They don't have the same education. They don't have the same uh, background uh, financially, sociologically. It's just two completely different movies and completely different roles. And it's the same thing for the son. It's not at all the same son than than than, than me. And I killed my mother. Um, so just in terms of how they dress, how they talk, the the, the it's a completely different vernacular. It's a completely different. Um, Body language, language, it's just opposite worlds. Thanks a lot for this. It's over? That's it? Oh, okay. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> Thanks again. Okay, sorry. <laughs>